Hey, good day everyone. This is George Jingra. And I just wanted to, to uh, just take a little second. I've been driving on the road for four hours uh, from Saskatoon. I'm now on the border of the uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba border. Uh, if I could see, if you look in the background just over here, you can see that I'm about to cross into the Manitoba border. Uh, I'm heading to Winnipeg. It's my hometown. That's where I was born and raised before we moved out to, to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. But I just wanted to take a second and tell you a little bit about the journey I'm on. Uh, the reason why I'm taking this trip back home, I'm going to be staying uh, a night, about a night and a half with my cousin, and then uh, maybe meet some family who I haven't seen for quite a while. And then I'm going to cut across down into the United States border. And my final destination is Kenosha, Wisconsin. Now the reason why I'm heading there is actually for an artist workshop. As some of you know, I've been studying the last little while on, uh, on my master thesis through the University of Saskatchewan, Master of Thesis of Fine Arts. And my intent uh, with this thesis is to, is to study the representation of the muscular body in art. And with that said, um, I was able to, uh, reason for the trip, I was able to support an artist I've been admiring for a while. Uh, and I'm trying to think of when I first noticed his work. It's getting kind of loud here with the traffic. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to remember when the first time I noticed his work. And I know it was YouTube, but it was for a specific reason. And I think it was because I was looking for some new... Uh, contemporary art techniques uh, as we know I've been uh, a lot of artists today kind of model the old masters uh, painting techniques but those recipes have been long gone and only science has been kind of been able to to dictate what and what and how they painted with the, the materials at the time so I think I did a YouTube search on fantasy art I was interested in fantasy art techniques and uh, Jeff Maracola, who is going to be the host of his uh, fantasy art workshop here, uh, I started watching his videos on YouTube, and I will link, I will link down that below to his YouTube channel uh, when this is all said and done. And uh, anyways, he was promoting a uh, a Kickstarter program that I got interested in after watching his videos, and uh, I was lucky enough. Uh, I had the money to support a project uh, for a uh, acrylic uh, uh, fantasy art workshop DVD set that he was able to produce. And you know, Jeff, I know you're going to watch this sooner or later, and I just wanted to let you know thank you very much for this opportunity. I really enjoy your work. I can't wait to meet you. And it's going to be a good time, my friend. I'm looking forward to meeting the other people. And it, you know, just I mentioned this before, I am coming down from Canada. I still have a, another four hour drive to, to Winnipeg. And then from Winnipeg down to where Kenosha is, I have about a 12 hour drive there. So I'll be leaving Wednesday, really in Wednesday early morning. And just so you know, those other uh, United States uh, citizens that I'm gonna be meeting, uh, don't tease me too much. <laughs> <laughs> Even I, though I am Canadian. And you can see that uh, to my new uh, US friends I'm going to meet that, uh, you know, us Canadians, we don't say A very much anymore. I, I think that's just a long stereotype that's long, long been forgotten. So, anyways, Jeff, I'm going to head back in a car. Looking forward to meet you, my friend. Looking forward to learning. And uh, yeah, there's just something about this trip that I needed to do. And as I continue on with this trip, uh, I'm going to be exploring my ancestral land. And uh, I'm hoping to stop off the Jingra Métis Trading Post in North Dakota and speak to the people down there. I'll probably do that on my way back. So this is just a starting clip, the introduction of my trip. And I will let you go for now, get back on the road. And you guys have a good day. Keep in touch. Talk to you soon.
Well, hey guys, how you doing? It's George here again. I, uh, oh hell man, I just, I need to take a piss so bad. I'm having a tough time holding it in. So I'm hoping at this rest stop, I'm still about three hours from Winnipeg, maybe two. I'm hoping there's, uh, oh, lady train on, good. I'm not an animal, I'm not an animal, I'm not an animal. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, perfect. All right. Oh crap, I can't do this with one hand. Oh, stupid button. Oh man, I'm gonna piss my pants. I'm gonna piss my pants. Holy shit. Holy crap. Oh. it's George here and uh, well you know it took about eight hours but I I uh, made it to Winnipeg and I'm here at my cousin's home uh, who's graciously uh, let me stay the night so thank you so much Darcy and Kevin and my two little cousins uh, it's been a long drive I don't know if you could see from the light but you know I drove all the way up here from Saskatoon uh, with the um, um, they call that um, the sunroof open and not realizing that uh, ee, it, burnt, it burnt the top of my head or the top half so now I gotta tan this half to make it even <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow it's supposed to be a nice day out here anyways uh, I'm a little beat from driving um, yeah you guys have a good night and Look forward to talking tomorrow. I, I think what I'm going to do is just before I go to bed here is uh, I won't show her the whole house, but something a little little special here that they have this chair here is one of those massage chairs. So I'm going to try that out before I go to bed. See what it feels like. You guys have a good night. We'll vlog tomorrow.
Hey everyone, this is George Shingra, uh, Applied Imaginative Realism, Life Art Aesthetics. I am continuing on my journey. I am now heading to the uh, U.S. border uh, to cross over to uh, complete my trip to Kenosha, Wisconsin. So Saskatchewan time right now, it's 11 p.m. Uh, my check-in time for uh, for my trip is about 13 hours away so I got about 12 to 13 hour drive uh, to Kenosha and um, I don't know why but I decided to drive at night um, on the way there and I will be uh, driving back in the daytime on the way back I have had about a five hour sleep before I am driving at night so at least I am well rested and ready for the highway that way uh, I am in Winnipeg, Manitoba right now. I'm leaving my cousins, uh, Darcy and her family. Uh, thank you so much for a great, uh, great day and a half here. I look forward to coming back through Winnipeg and, and staying with your family again. So thank you so much um, to you and your family, Darcy. And uh, hopefully your, your husband's around so I could uh, tease him a little bit later too. Uh, Manitoba time is now 12 midnight. I'm gonna fuel up. I'm gonna head out. It's about an hour or so away from the uh, US border and I think I think I'll try to record my trip through the border process. So we'll see what happens. I don't want to push it too far uh, but it might be a good uh, or at least I could get there before the process starts and then I can videotape after and let you know if I made it through or not. Have a good night everyone and I'll speak to you in two few hours. Alright, bye. Hey guys, so it's uh, George here again. I'm, uh, I just crossed the US, uh, Manitoba US border and um, uh, sorry I couldn't film it the way through at uh, Right on the border there, there's a town called Emerson, and as soon as I turned the corner, boom, it was right there uh, with not much of a notice. So, uh, anyways, um, if you can see behind me here in the back of the window, uh, there's the border cross in there. So I pulled up and I wasn't too sure what questions I was going to be asked. Uh, obviously, I was asked where I was going and so forth, and uh, an odd question he asked me if I was arrested for anything uh, ever. And I said, I looked at him and I was like, nope not one single time ever no he goes not ever and i go nope not ever okay <laughs> you have a good night sir and i said okay thank you sir thank you officer so and then i told him i'm going to be out for about four or five days and then coming back through the border he also asked me if i knew anybody in the states and i said no nope. uh, nobody i know uh, that i'm visiting or anything so um so anyways, uh, I made it. I'm crossed the, I'm crossed the border for the second time in my life. Uh, the first time was my trip to uh, Vermont. And uh, yeah, what a what a neat experience driving these highways at nighttime. Got a full moon out. The highways are lit up, and the uh, the night just feels fantastic. I feel great driving at night. I forgot how much nicer I feel at night driving so I'm not too sure why anyways I'm looking at South 29 here so I came off the 75 it's now South 29 it's an international highway so it should be pretty smooth sailing from here um, and I think I have to keep in mind that the states have now miles per hour so I better make sure I watch my uh, meter for that I got a whole night of driving ahead. I probably won't check in, in with the video for, for quite a while. Uh, again, I'm in an unknown territory, so I really want to focus on the highway and try not to take any rest stops. If I do take a rest stop, I will definitely record. So, the current time now is 12.49 Saskatchewan time, roughly. Manitoba time is about 1.49. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a time change by the time I get to Wisconsin. Not sure if it follows that uh, line or if it shifts another hour or so. 
I guess we'll find out as we go. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. this is so far I've been on the highway since uh, 12 o'clock uh, this past morning it's now uh, Saskatchewan time it's now 11 o'clock in, in the morning uh, however there's a time shift and it's 12 o'clock uh, here in the afternoon so I've been on the road for about 12 hours straight with some little breaks in between as you guys seen before uh, I'm only about 10 or 20 minutes away from a place called Toma, uh, Wisconsin, off to Madison and then straight to uh, pretty, I'm, I'm about 3 hours away, 3 hours, 27 minutes away according to the uh, Google Maps. Uh, what I didn't realize is some of these roaming charges are kicking my ass. I'm going to have a big cell phone bill when this is all done. Oh boy. Uh, but nonetheless I'm having a great time it's really interesting to see uh, you know what's nice about some of these highways is they sing to you when you drive over the highways they whistle and sing to you how happy can you be with that that's fantastic Canada's highways never did that to me so it's a bonus for for traveling through Wisconsin however when I look at the landscape you know I drove through the prairies here in the States and now I'm hitting the uh, kind of the um, the Great Canadian uh, Shield uh, area uh, that you'd see kind of in Quebec and Toronto and Montreal, and it's it's the same here. It extends all the way down to the states, so um, it feels fantastic. And the sun's just starting to come out. Everything looks great. I've been seeing uh, license plates from Alaska, New York, Indiana, uh, obviously Wisconsin. Oh, and then Minnesota, I missed the bypass. I, I don't know how I did it, but I missed the bypass in Minnesota. So I took myself on a half an hour tour trying to get out, out of the city of Minnesota. Uh, however, but they got some fabulous architecture there, especially one of the cathedrals I passed. It just looked unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, Minnesota and... Uh, you know the the driving limit on the highway here is 70 miles per hour now according to my speedometer that's 110 kilometers that's pretty comfortable right we do that in in Canada already not a big deal but these guys everybody that's probably driven this road thousands of times are doing 120 130 even the old people the elders they're zipping right past me. It's unbelievable. It's it's, it's crazy. So, uh, you know, and here is me. I'm sure they see the license plate and they just look and they laugh and point and <laughs> there goes that Canuck, right? Oh boy. Now I'm gonna point something else out here to you. As I mentioned earlier in a clip, I've had this car since 2004. And right now, I'm only about Oh, it looks like about a hundred and almost 200 clicks away from actually um, from actually hitting 200,000 kilometers in this car since 2004 so I don't know how to flip this button over but uh, what I'll do is uh, if it's not too busy on the highway I will videotape uh, the speedometer the odometer uh, rolling over so you guys could see how proud I am when I purchased this car. <laughs> Anyways, Jeff, I'm only three hours away. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I don't feel tired at all from, from the drive. Uh, I, I can't wait till tomorrow morning, my friend. Um, we'll see you soon if I don't see you guys tonight. So take care and we'll uh, talk to you later. I'll update you guys later.
Bye. Well, this is it everyone. I made it uh, to Kenosha about 4.30 in the afternoon, uh, their time. I uh, pretty much fell asleep right away and went to bed. Uh, it's now 12 hours later, so it's about 8.30 their time. And uh, I'm excited. I'm about to uh, I'm about to meet uh, Jeff Maricola here, so... Oh... I don't know what the proper term is. Uh, maybe a little starstruck. Uh, he's an artist I've admired for for a while now, so... And... Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it relaxed, calm and meditated, so... I will try to get some video footage throughout the day and... Anyways, wish me luck. Talk to you guys soon. You got a lizard. Oh, that's a lizard and chrisman, and then a bird sienna. That yeah, and exactly. then they come in like so right. interesting so color. I never mixed this before. Normally, it's just the subject matter, and then that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm always thinking okay. final product and stuff. So now I'm, you know, so I'm now I want to just like see you. Take this and really kick down these white areas. These white areas. Yeah, geez, look at the difference there. I want to start to glaze over this. And yeah, and start to kill those white areas and kind of like really even all this color up, even this whole thing, homogenize the whole background. You know. Because what you can do next is. They, you'll start to pull these highlights out, you know what I mean? I yeah, I yeah, yeah. I was scared to cover those white areas because I thought it might not pop back out, but no, I, I see what you're saying, yeah. You're going to do that, you can do that. With the, okay? So do that over the whole thing. Is this looking kind of phallic to you? It is. Maybe I'll change that. Yeah, I see what it is. Oh my good, I just like wait a minute. You know what I'm what saying? is he Point painting? Out to me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fix oh, that. What's missing is a sec. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs>
I don't want to be called a pervert when I go home, you know what I mean? Well, this could be one of the hidden so. messages in the painting. Maybe it's not so hidden. <laughs> one of the subtle no, hidden messages. No, I don't want to be that kind so of artist. So do that same thing over here. Okay. I'm okay. You know? And, and feel free to really scrub it in there, you know, like that and cover some of the colors from over here yeah, too. Yeah. And uh, do you mind if I steal this brush? Or no, you go ahead. Yeah. yeah, do whatever you like. Because it's actually got some of the lots of color on it. Just so a, just a little bit of white. Hey, I always scare that white will just... Oh, I see. The white almost dulled it down, it seemed like. Yeah. But we're just, you know, I mean, now, like, you've got some really interesting, like, uh, shapes happening in here. That you want to, you want to bring them out, you know? It's like you want to, like, play off of these, these wonderful lines and shapes that you've started to create. You know, where you can kind of, What's this your bright? You're just scratching the surface, eh? Yeah. Just so it looks like it's blending really nice. Yeah, because I'm like a feather touch as I'm getting up there. I'm really just kind of like dry brushing, almost feather touch it, you know. Oh, wow. 
like this I'm pressing down a little bit harder here but yep. then now now you've got this and like I said you, you've got some I love all these just these lines that you created you know um, Way off of us, you know. Like so. And now, as this, after this dries, right, then you could start to go in with a darker color from the top, from the tops of those shapes, right? Yeah. Right. And right. you're going to get some really More interesting stuff down. happening. color you're using for glazing? Uh, yeah, that was the... That was the stuff, and then that's, the, we'll go a little darker with it. But, okay, so that's the color you were using for glazing, right? Oh, I see. Yeah. So you wanna, while it's still wet, you wanna like, try to, I'm not sure exactly how far you want to go with that or where you know uh, so it almost the edge almost disappears I guess but you just uh, it's, it'll take a little bit it's gonna take a few coats for it like it's got to dry you know and yeah. then, and then uh, do it but but I see how that starts to fold over right so it's got a it's got to be a subtle Subtle little shift. Mm, so I'd say leave that right now and then. Uh, yep. You know, gotta let that dry and then do it again. And kind of like see if you can get that edge. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cause you you want so you want that to appear as if like it's just kind of like a like a almost like a tunnel or something. Yes. Right? Like, yep. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Absolutely. All right. That's cool. Yep. Just gotta let that dry and do it again. Well, here we go again. Good morning, everyone. It's George Jingra here. It's uh, eight twenty uh, Wisconsin morning. I'm on day two of the Jeff Maricola Fantasy Art Workshop. And you know what? I'm going to add uh, Sylvia in there too, Jeff's wife. Um, 
she's been hosting uh, just as graciously as as Jeff has been so you guys have um, so so much support already and uh, like I said I'm, I was very happy to support you Jeff and uh, Sylvia uh, for this fantastic trip this great opportunity and boy am I learning a lot uh, might not show it just yet because I'm focusing on painting and drawing but yeah it's fantastic well, I came into an issue uh, yesterday. I had uh, I had ran out of my American currency. Uh, I was told to check out one of the biggest banks here in Wisconsin, and unfortunately, uh, unless I have an account, I cannot exchange my Canadian currency for U.S. currency. And uh, if the story continues this way, then uh, looks like I won't be joining anybody for supper tonight. So. So I'm off to, I heard there's a Bank of Montreal here. I'm going to try the, lo the location and hopefully they'll take a little pity on me and and um, and I could get some Canadian or some American currency from a Canadian bank. So I will do some filming later and uh, and uh, oh, I want to show you guys something quickly. It's not in here. I'll bring it up the next video. So stay tuned. Have a good day. Creative sweep. Creative sweep, yeah. Yeah. I like Panera. You use Panera? I use Panera. I, my first degree is multimedia. So I learned a lot of Premier. When I was studying for my masters, they kept wanting me to do um they wanted us to make videos and they're like, just use the I Apple TV or, or what is the thing called on iMovie. 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 And I was like, you can't do anything with this. <laughs> iMovie's terrible. It's great if you're like, this is my daughter's fourth birthday party. Right. And here's all the photos and the soundtrack. But yeah, I, Premiere was, it's so all my stuff in class looks a lot better than most people. They're like, what the hell? I'm like, Premiere, man. Stop using iMovie. Yeah, Premiere So this is where I would have some fun and, and, and kind of like creating more interest, you know? So kind of a multi, kind of a multi-directional. Yeah, exactly. No, it's it's got more interest, you know. Your dinks here, little dinks there. I'm not trying to. Not trying to make it perfect, just you know, having it have some jagged edges and some interesting little shapes, letting the paint do its thing. Almost like you know, almost like rocks or something, but yeah, yeah. Different little areas catching light. And you could move the brush on the side to kind of like let some of that texture, that canvas, you know, show through. So, right. So I like this, that this whole thing recedes into the distance, you know, so as we, as we move our way up, we're not, like, I'm not getting so heavy with it, you know? Yep, I see what you're doing there. 
And even if you do get heavy with it, you can always kick it back by doing a glaze over it again. You know what I mean? And darkening up the areas of it. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah. I kind of still like the pencil lines still showing oh, through. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. How many people love that stuff? Oh. How many collectors, especially, like to actually still see the work of the artist underneath? You know. And then you. So you're not really changing the value, are you just changing the um, the opacity of the... Because it looks a little bit thicker now, or yeah, am I... Well, it's brighter. I added a little bit more white oh, into okay. it, you know, so I'm kind of selectively uh, going over portions of it like this. It's too much. I need some water. makes me think that I've been rushing through my oil paintings uh, when I do my physique work too quickly and I'm I'm missing a lot of these small little meditative scenes kind of what you're doing oh, here yeah. you know I mean I like, like I, I said I've got some paintings at home where I I do this and I could do I just do it for hours and days you know have some fun really defining these different shapes and stuff like that in there. All right? Yeah. And now on the flip side here, let me, sorry. No, nope, flip away. <laughs> <laughs> some sienna but the sienna is just really too red so I'm gonna use some umber so did you find something are you recording the sound yeah that's okay I'll probably wind up doing a voiceover and Picking up everything, so. These are the currency exchanges in the area. Two of them are just a few blocks away. Oh, You'll have to call them, make sure they're open today. Oh, see thank what you. their terms are. Thank you so much. When you're much done with trouble. this, um, just give it to Sylvia. She can give it to me. I'll leave it at the desk. Because okay. I'm sure other people will ask. Great. Thank you, you very much. Room, no. Oh, okay. Wait, do you need something? I was going to ask if I could just steal one of those little uh, fabric rags um, in the rag bin. Oh yeah, Thank what you. a difference there. So you can really just start to define some of those. Yeah. Establish your lights, establish your darks, and leave that middle tone value that you've already created, you know, in there kind of. Right. right. And and now give these forms, all these forms some substance. You know. Because you've got so many interesting and lovely shapes and forms that you're creating. It'd be nice for you to kind of hit their edges with, you know, darken up their edges a little bit to kind of like define them a little more. You know. And you can kind of just continue pushing that and just have that grow. And I mean, it's a lot of work, but. It, don't mind the pretty work. impressive, yeah. you know, it'll be really nice because you, then you can start to establish some of these. 
all these wonderful forms that you've got going on. Mm -hmm. And they won't feel so flat. Uh, That's funny. I was thinking about the asanas. I think he's still looking a little flat. Right. So. You see? You know? Yeah. Start to, start to carry that throughout the whole thing, and all of a sudden this whole thing is going to take on, like... Yeah, that's starting to feel fantastic there. Like right, and you can push it even more, you know. Thank you, Jeff.
Tell you guys what a journey this has been i am eight o'clock in the morning just waiting to get into the kenosha public museum uh, final day for the workshop and uh man you know he was right he jeff mentioned that this was going to be an intense workshop and uh i actually felt first time in a while a strain uh, yes, I trying to figure out how my paintings would work and so forth. So I really had a chance to look at things differently And it's really I'm gonna bug him today, but I think Because I get a critique today from him and I've been looking forward to that and I'm starting to kind of rethink my master thesis and where I want to go because of this workshop and I'm gonna hopefully hear some thoughts and if I ask the right questions, maybe I'll get some good answers uh, uh, from those questions. As you guys can see behind me in the distance, that is uh, Lake Michigan right there. I will be taking a tour tomorrow morning with the whole uh, uh, island or, or part that I'm on. So, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, last day of the workshop, Sunday after, Sunday morning, right until Sunday evening. And uh, geez, what a great time. I, I, I don't want to go back. Not yet, anyway. There's so much more I want to explore. And uh, what's interesting is the museum also has a Cour de Bois exhibit. Um, uh, unfortunately, the language is really out of date. And it makes people like me, who is a Métis, uh, look very, very small. So, um, but as the education comes out about who we are as people, the language changes, right? So I think I think this museum is going in a good direction. So nice exhibit, keep an eye out for that as well too. So it looks like some of the crew is starting to show up. I will uh, sign off and I will talk to everyone soon. You guys have a good night. Jeff, looking forward to the last day. Sylvia, thank you so much for all your help in uh, getting me some currency. <laughs> uh, there's a story to that. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. So what I decided to do is maybe what we could do is while you guys are working, people, if you guys have questions, just throw out a question to me and I'll answer it, you know what I mean, yeah, to the group. And uh, I think it'd be about anything. Like if you've got a question about, I don't know, anything about
thinking about the business of art, or I've got, I can just come up with some things to share with you guys too. Um, or it could be about painting, of course. I, so I want to make I want to make sure that I kind of answer some some of your questions you know, that you might have. Um, there's a lot of a lot of uh, questions that artists just won't answer. You know, they don't like to talk about contracts. They don't like to talk about how much they get paid. They don't like to talk about these things. And uh, I don't give a shit. And so <laughs> I just, you know what I mean? Appreciate that attitude. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's the kind of thing, like, I, I want to share the information that I wish people had shared with me when I was younger, trying to get into this, and uh, things you just don't understand. And, you know. Well, it helps to be a bit more realistic. As to what and you don't know mean. what you don't know. Like, last night, I know some of you were surprised to learn that you should have two signatures. I'm, I'm still shocked about. So that's that's <laughs> a, that, there's something you learn. Yeah. You come up with your signature because I like like my signature is kind of like sideways. Yeah. But I like how like you and Tony sign like just and Miles too. You guys have a signature straight across, right? Yeah. And I was like, that's kind of what I'm trying yeah. to. Like. It, it started well. It was kind of like necessity. I needed to come up with a signature that was um, a little bit faster for me to do since I was signing so many magic cards at events. Um, originally, it was, it was like a little symbol, actually. I, I had this yeah. like a little J and M stack on top of each other, and that was it. And then, and then I realized that I, I, I'd overhear Magic uh, players kind of like complaining about artist signatures, and they're like, because artists, some artists will just do that. They'll just do J M, you know, yeah. and it just doesn't feel special to them, you know. Uh, it looks like anybody could just do that. And, it's hard to read, or it's just so sim simple. I don't know. Yeah, and, and so I kind of came up with my signature, at least with the J. Maricola thing. And, and now it feels special to people, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it feels yeah. cool. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm trying to come up with something like that for mine because I did kind of like just a stack on top of a P. Right. And then I just close them like the rest of the letters and okay. Yeah. And it looks cool in a sense, but it takes a while to sit and sign a bunch of stuff. Right. So you have to consider that if you ever end up. You know, doing something where you're signing hundreds and like thousands of cards and the bank, and then it's like you gotta come up with a signature. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. like something that doesn't drive you crazy each time. Uh, yeah. to yeah. Tony and I were at a art auction a month or two ago where all these pr simple prints of Picasso's and Chagall's and so forth going for thousands of dollars. Yeah. So I told Tony what he needs to do is change his name to Chagall. Yes. <laughs> he signs his name to Chagall. There will be thousands of people out there who will really just pay thousands of dollars. Right. For this. I'm, I'm going to say it's just, just like Jane Eric Fuller. Don't do that. I'm not getting You're like 80 bucks. <laughs> well, the Chagalls are probably all yeah. over these. So.
It feels like that's okay, how watch this guy. Use a spray can. This is how you use a spray can. Spray away from the face. From the bench to the. Do not point out the face. Yeah, don't point like this. Go from the bench to the. You have to explain that. To some people, you have to explain that. Can you explain it in like. Alright, so, obviously. Alan, you should know this, man. You did graffiti. I know how this should work. Okay, so you, you, don't, you don't want to, like, you don't want to spray too close to your right. feet like this, right? Otherwise, it's going to pool up on you. Yeah. Right? So, so you want to make sure that you are, and you want to just go evenly across beyond your paint, right? You know? That's a pretty narrow beam, too. Yep. Okay. Well, it shifted the color too, didn't it? Just a little That's bit. kind of half the point. Is like it makes it look permanently yeah. a little bit wet. Yeah. So that was going that way across it, right? Now I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an idea. Maybe I'll hang it sideways every so often just so oh, wow. people. See if anybody realizes. <laughs> right. So then I go on an angle across it too. Just make sure the whole thing is nice and even. Yeah. Yeah. So you say you can paint as you hold that? And and Alan, how do you make sure that your your spray can yeah, well, upside down. down? That's right. You you spray it a little out upside down until it stops There's spraying that. out. And, that, and that, yeah. that, then your stuff will never get clogged in the tip. Huh. You know, when you I was like, a kid, we had like... Can you show us that again, please? Like someone well, has gotta, never considered the paper? So, you hold the can upside down, and you spray it out like this until it's not spraying. Not and you got all of it out, and so now it won't Clear. clog up yeah. the tip. Interesting. Yeah, when I was a kid, we had to I always not know find the... The perfect tops. Yes. You know, like, I, like, I remember I used to steal the ones off my dad's like, cologne. And be like, yes. what the hell? Yep, go ahead. And now you go to like uh, Blick or Michaels and they have like a so, plethora of tops you can pick from. So you should use it to spray your face? Yes. Put no, I kept, I kept it. I usually let it sit outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, this for a while. But he would open his cologne and top right in. So, yeah. so you go to like Blick and oh, like, so much better. You can paint over that if you his grandfathers. Unbelievable. They're huge. Look at all these grandfathers. Look at them. Uh, 
Alright everyone, here it is, Lake Michigan. On the I can feel the power of the water already.